Ursula Barnes is sorting and packing up her waste plastic from the past week in time for a special pickup service. Recycling household trash is still the exception here in Cape Town. Ursula Barnes only started separating her paper and plastic recently as part of a pilot project. I never realized, you know, how bad things was until I started saving plastic. I I've never, never thought about it, but I'm so glad to be doing my bit. And every little bit counts. Currently, just 7.5% of South Africans recycle their waste. The result is mountains of plastic and other refuse across the country. Until now, the only form of household waste recycling here was done by informal waste collectors. Chad Robertson decided to take action. So right here, we've got a lot of illegal dumping. Uh, quite a big issue in the city of Cape Town. Um, according to some stats, around, we're spending around 400 million rand a year on illegal dumping and cleaning it up. Whereas, you know, we could be spending it money on rather creating solutions to solve this problem. Right behind the landfill, there's a no dumping sign. <laughs> yeah, very ironic. Yeah, it's, it's, it's actually not very ironic because at most dumping sites, you will see a no dumping sign. So it's quite a norm for us here in Cape Town. Chad Robertson wants to encourage Cape Towners to bring about change. His regionized startup is primarily aimed at people from the poorest parts of the city. South Africa is a very unequal society and that extends to waste disposal. If you're in a low-income community, for example, there's really not, nothing available for you besides the informal collectors who would collect the recyclables because the private companies wouldn't operate there, nor would the city's free service operate there. As I mentioned, that's only in your upper-income communities. Reginize, which he founded to help resolve Cape Town's waste problem, is located in the Bridgetown suburb in the east of the city. In 2018, the startup launched a pilot project here, tailored to the needs of lower-income areas. Zihla and Ziva Mafume begin their shift at the collection point. While one starts sifting through and sorting the items from the past week, the other sets off on his cargo track. Siva Mavume does a tour of the neighborhood once a week. The service is a new one for the residents of Bridgetown. Siva Mavume collects paper, plastic, and cans from participants. Meanwhile, 500 households are taking part. Today, he'll stop by 150 homes. He makes a careful note of how much each sack weighs. His trike's cargo cage fills up quickly. Residents involved in the pilot project aren't charged for the pickup service. To the contrary, participants all receive a fixed sum in Rimali for each waste pickup. Rimali is a virtual currency that can be saved up and then spent on shopping, vouchers, mobile phone data packages, and donations. Thank you so much. Yay! I need to buy dog food so this can go towards the dog food because <laughs> it's so expensive. <laughs> Siva Mavume makes his way back to the depot. The project provides jobs for people who used to be informal trash collectors and unemployed young people like Siva Mavume. His colleagues bring the sorted reusable materials to a recycling plant where the waste is turned into a new resource. Reginize's efforts have won it a National Social Innovation Award, though support from the local authorities has been sluggish, especially when it comes to creating the infrastructure for more collection points. But Chad Robertson and his team are undeterred. We are still pushing our 
the optimism comes through small things, you know, seeing the impact that it makes, seeing positive reviews from customers um, and being able to grow the business as well. The vision is to really scale our service throughout Cape Town and South Africa, the recycling model, um, and get people not only to recycle, but to start living more circular. Orshula Barnes is a convert. She's happy about the vouchers, but even happier that she's now doing something about the waste problem. People will come to realize that we all need to do something to make the change. Be the change you want to see. Be the change. And I'm glad that I got started late in life, but I got started rather late than ever. The Reginized team are hoping that the government will also increase its support so that recycling can soon become available to all South Africans.